Uh, let's go on to our next panelist. Uh, Mr. Anthony Martosha is the Director of Contract Operations for the Federal Emergency Management Agency. Mr. Martosha is responsible for awarding and administering $2 billion in contracts to support FEMA. He's also responsible for providing acquisition support for all FEMA programs. Thank you for being with us. Uh, good morning, Chairman Nye <clears throat> and members of the Subcommittee on Contracting and Technology for the House Committee on Small Business. I am Tony Martosha, Chief of the Contracting Office at FEMA. I appreciate the opportunity to appear before you today to discuss FEMA's engagement with the private sector, in particular with service disabled veteran owned small businesses, and to specifically address FEMA contracts cited by the GAO as part of its case study on service disabled veteran owned small businesses in October 2009. Today, I will pro provide an overview of SDVOSB program data outlining how FEMA engages small businesses owned by service disabled veterans and how we work to meet the 3% goal and the award of FEMA acquisition set asides for competition among those companies and those uh, and researching those that are not SDVOSBs. The SDVOSB program is intended to honor the extraordinary service rendered to the United States by veterans with disabilities incurred during active service with the armed forces. The Veterans Benefit Act of 2003 established the SDVOSB program to provide federal contracting assistance to those concerns. Contracting officers may set aside acquisitions to any small business concern controlled and owned by one or more disabled veterans. Executive Order 13360 requires federal procurement officials and prime contractors to provide opportunities for these firms to increase their federal prime and subcontracting to those firms owned by service disabled veterans. In order to advance FEMA's efforts with SDVOSBs, the agency has de designated a full-time small business specialist whose primary responsibility is to increase contract opportunities to small businesses. We are working hard to meet the 3% annual goal with SDVOSB businesses, and I am pleased to report FEMA is currently at 2.56% of prime contracts awarded to those companies. We have more work to do, but FEMA is making strides in working with that community. I have reviewed the October 2009 GAO report, which was undertaken by GAO to review SDVOSB procurement program to determine whether cases of fraud and abuse exist within the program and whether the program has effective fraud prevention controls in place. The report cites two cases in which FEMA contracts were reviewed. FEMA takes the findings from the report very seriously, and as a result, FEMA is considering many initiatives that will prevent future incidents of fraud, including awareness training for contracting officers, contract specialists, use of FedBiz to assist in the verification process, and the requirement for submission of a VA certification by the successful offeror before final award. I thank the subcommittee for your consideration of my opening statement, and I look forward to answering questions. 